The cannabis industry in Desert Hot Springs has really exploded over the last few years. Desert Hot Springs being one of the first cities in the state of California to actually invest in the cannabis industry and being able to put the first large-scale grow in the state of California legally has really produced enough tax dollars to start to see a difference in, in our budget. Uh, we are putting people to work every day. These people are needing businesses in Desert Hot Springs to be able to go eat lunch and, and shop and buy the things they need without going south of the freeway. So we tell everybody to keep north of the freeway. This is a great opportunity with over 400,000 square feet of cannabis grow and manufacturing going on and, and another 1.5 million in, in the design phases right now. This is great opportunity for you and the cannabis industry to invest in a city that is going to support you in the future of cannabis. Our relationship with the city staff and uh, the city in developing the business has been phenomenal. Cannabis is a new industry, so we're all figuring it out together. And what we've been able to build with the city is a really effective public-private partnership where the city is willing to understand the needs of the industry and promote the regulations and that are required for us to smoothly administer our businesses, but also when we need help and support in expediting of our projects, the city is always willing to step in to support and help our business. One of the most positive things in being involved in Desert Hot Springs has been the relationships that we have been able to develop with the community and the city leaders. And we uh, were able to occupy the first part of the building in less than a six month period. Our experience with elected officials and city staff has been second to none. I've both as a business person as well as an individual have done development projects all over the world. I've put up hundreds and hundreds of thousands of square feet across many different asset classes and frankly I've never been part of a more some supportive development community uh, in the city offices and staff they are there to solve problems uh, for the business people who are trying to uh, bring economic development to their town. It's really nice to do business in a place where you can actually enjoy the people you're working with who are also at the same time regulating the business. Desert Hot Springs and Ray and I would say could be the most supportive city that we've dealt with in 20 or 30 years. Yeah, to add to that, 25 years I've been developing up and down the coast. I felt that this city has a full vested interest in what we're doing out here. Uh, they're looking at our timelines, shorten their timelines up, uh, costs, that are going into this project, they're finding ways to help us from a cost standpoint. They've probably saved us a good five, six hundred thousand dollars in helping us redesign and rethink this, this project here. Timelines, Ray, how can we get this project open sooner? Get your tenants in. They're, they're, they're problem solvers. And from us, from a standpoint, from a business standpoint, we'll have that all day long. Well, the, the city uh, recently has gone through some tremendous growth and there's a lot more activity a lot more businesses and uh, it's a good place to be. Two-thirds of California's population is within 90 miles of Desert Hot Springs, so we have quick access to San Diego, Orange County, Los Angeles, and the proximity to those uh, major metropolitan areas, but still being able to take advantage of a lower, lower cost workforce and a lower cost of doing business just made intuitive sense to the company. So I would recommend uh, other future development in the Desert Hot Springs because overall the city has been very proactive in development. Uh, they have a straightforward process of how to get uh, a project developed and they're very supportive all the way from the, the grassroots level through the final stages of development uh, to complete a project. Yeah, based on our experience here, we'd have absolutely no hesitation building in this city again. This location works in terms of logistics. I couldn't be more thrilled with Des Desert Hot Springs. We actually have three facilities in the Desert Hot Springs area and about to open our fourth. It's a really, really wonderful area because if you think about it, we are about a 90 minute drive from two thirds of the Southern California population, which has two thirds of the 38 million people that are in the state of California. So. When you think about Orange County, San Diego, and Los Angeles, we're in very quick striking distance. So to have our production facilities located to the 
uh, population centers of California couldn't be more wonderful for us. And I think the town is well on its way to becoming the uh, cannabis cap production capital of the world.